What is marketing? If you are asking that question, then you obviously want to create an amazing brand, you want to grow your company, or you want more sales. In this video, I'm not only going to answer the question, what is marketing? I'm going to share the three things that you need to focus on to be an amazing marketer. Steve, my camera guy, brought me this topic. I couldn't believe anyone was asking it. What is marketing? It seems so high level, but when I thought about it a bit more, I realized that this is a really important question and an important topic. Because ultimately, when you are launching a business, growing a business, scaling a business, you have to understand not only what marketing is, but how you can leverage it. So at the end of the day, in simplest terms, Marketing is really about creating an amazing brand, taking that brand and putting it in front of the people who need to see it, the people who matter most, your potential customers, and then ensuring that at every step along the way, that brand is supporting a promise that you're making. It's that simple. Create a great message, have a great feeling, have a great story, purpose, why, great photography and great everything and then put it in front of the right people at the right time. And then as they move through the entire sales process or customer journey, just reinforce that time after time after time. That's all marketing really is. But like so many things that we have to do, it takes like a second to understand it and then a lifetime to master. When we start to build our brand, when we start to decide who we wanna be and how we wanna be perceived, there's just so many questions, there's so many unknowns, and we get lost in the complexity and the details. So I've developed for myself and my friends and my clients it's a really simple framework, three things that they need to focus on to really become an amazing marketer. Number one, who is your target market? It always starts with the person that you're trying to sell something to because if you're just marketing to everyone, then no one will listen, no one will connect with your story or your brand. And so you're gonna be more comfortable focusing on yourself. What do I wanna say? How do I wanna say it? Who do I wanna be? This is what I wanna do. But at the end of the day, your customer, your potential customer, the person you wanna to sell to, they actually matter the most. You wanna find out as much as possible about the people that you want to sell to. Who do they trust? Who do they listen to? Where are they? If you wanna be a company that only sells to billionaires, what do those billionaires care about? Where are they? Who do they hang out with? Who do they listen to? If you wanna sell only to teenagers, totally different. And so step one is always making the decision of who you wanna to sell to and learning as much as possible about where they are, who they are, and what they care about. Number two, ask yourself who you have to be. If you wanna go after billionaires, hmm, who do you have to be? How do you have to be perceived? What kind of brand do you have to have? Who do you need to be to be good enough to sit down across from these billionaires or have a brand that's desirable to these billionaires. If you're going after teenagers, how can you ensure you're cool enough? How can you ensure you're saying the right things? How can you ensure that you're actually speaking to them? And so when you're digging into what is marketing and understanding that marketing is just about going to the market with a message that connects, you need to spend time not only focusing on what makes our brand our brand, that makes us worth buying, but we need to wrap that in a package that is appealing and connects with the people that we wanna to sell to. Step three, make a promise. You have to make a claim. You have to say something worth saying. Now this promise isn't a guarantee. This promise isn't you raising your hand or you know, putting it on a Bible and swearing that you'll be a certain way. This promise is delivered in what you say, in how you feel, in, in your, the way you carry yourself. This promise is something that is felt by your potential customers. If you're running a service-based company, then the way that you sit across from someone, what you say, how you carry yourself, the timelines, the budgets, the fact that you'll follow up, everything that you do is conveyed through this promise. At Fanta, the company that I own, the agency that I own, our promise is literally, don't worry, we've got you. You won't see that anywhere on our website. You won't see that anywhere in our marketing materials, but every conversation that my team has with our clients needs to leave them feeling like, don't worry, we've got this. We've got you, we'll take care of it. That's the promise that we need to make. And that's the promise that my entire team needs to be able to deliver on. If you have a new product or an e-commerce store or run a restaurant or you're a contractor, it doesn't matter your business. In what you say, in how you convey yourself and every single conversation that you have with a client, there is a promise that's being made. 
If you have the latest, coolest product, the promise that you're making is that if someone buys this, it'll not only work, it'll not only be amazing, but it'll make them feel great and have a sense of status. If you're in a restaurant, it's not only a promise of a great atmosphere, great service, and great food. It's that when you come into our space, this will be an experience that matters. It means something. It's a special night or occasion. Or that it's the fastest thing in the world, or it's the most convenient, or it's the most healthy. These are all promises that are made through what we say, how we carry ourselves, and what we convey to the clients. And this promise is something that most business people and marketers are terrified to make because they think they're going to disappoint people. They want to under promise and over deliver. I say, be bold, be strong, say things worth listening to, and then ensure that your team, your operations and everything you do can actually live up to that promise. It's not marketing's job to dumb itself down for bad operations. It's marketing's job to make big and bold promises and then have the rest of the company live up to those promises that marketing makes. You wanna know what marketing is? At the end of the day, it's deciding who am I gonna to sell to, understanding who I need to be to sell to those people, and then making a bold promise and delivering on it. If you're looking to market without wasting a single dollar, check out this video. I think you'd like it a lot. And if you're looking for more sales and marketing tips, be sure to subscribe.